Hi everyone, my name is Tarly. I'm Quitzling. My name is Norizati Binti Yako. Hi, my name is Dashmi Anukrumha Ravichandran. We are from SMK Infest Convent Johor Bahru. Water is essential and vital for all known forms of life. Water is also a shared source and is used for various purposes including domestic use, agriculture and even recreation. However, the issue of water wastage on Earth is well known and occurs in all continents of the world. Instead of looking at the big picture, we can all play a part by starting small to save water. Taking our school, Assembly Infant Jesus Kwan and Johor Bahru's compound as an example, water is used for several purposes such as cleaning the bathroom and instincts to wash hands in the canteen. Based on our observation and findings, we have noticed that, particularly during the endemic phase, the water utility bills of our school have been extremely high and has brought upon a financial burden to our school. We have also come to a conclusion that the main source of water wastage is from the canteen, notably during recess when students use the hand basins to wash their hands after a meal. Malaysia transitioned to an endemic phase, students are allowed to have recess at the school canteen. However, the high population of students using the canteen have raised water demand and increased discharge of grey water, particularly from the wash basins. The consequent high water utility bill has placed a huge burden on SMK Infant Jesus Convent Johor Bahru as a missionary school. The proposed solution to mitigate this issue is recycling grey water and harvested rainwater as alternative water sources for non-potable reuses. This research aims to build a laboratory-skill rainwater grey water recycling system which integrates filtration and disinfection processes. Objective we want to design a water filtration system that can recycle grey water from the washing basins and rainwater for non-potable use. We want the water filtration system to reduce the school water spills and find alternative sources of water purposes. Water filtration system must be cheap, eco-friendly so that it can implement it for larger scale. The water filtration system must be easily assembled without any complicated procedure. Grey water is collected from sources like the school canteen's wash basins. Water collected is pushed through three columns in the system for filtration, absorption and UV disinfection via the piping system. In the first column, the water is filtered through a sand filter with additional filtration medias. The first layer from the top is a Metella filter mat. This high density filter mat is used to remove solid waste. This is followed by large to small gravel and coarse sand to further remove suspended solid particles. Next, we have the rice husk ash layer. In Malaysia, rice is a staple food. This makes rice husk an abundantly available agro-waste material. The sheer volume of rice husk waste produced brings disposal issues and serious environmental problems. To counter this, rice husk ash can be reused from an environmental pollutant to a promising filtration media. This is due to its capability to remove specific water pollutants and absorb organic contaminants efficiently. After that, we have repurposed eggshells, a common household waste, as an alternative low-cost adsorbent layer. Next is the fine sand layer. The fine sand small pores will retain dirt and very fine sediments. Lastly, the bottom is stuffed with cotton to keep the other layers of filter from falling out with the water. The water is then flowed into the second column containing granular activated carbon, remarkable for removing unwanted odour and colour from the water. Subsequently, water flows into the last column consisting of UV light for disinfection. The ultraviolet light radiation can reduce microbiological growth in the water can be used for non-portable uses like cleaning or watering the plant.
However, you might be thinking, what makes our product different from the other water filtration products in the market? Uses of materials such as eggshells and rice husks that are natural resources and easily accessible makes our product stand out from the rest. Usage of UV light as our final filter to eliminate microorganisms makes our product a class by itself. Our product is also made of recycled materials such as used plastic water bottles and shoe boxes. That being so, we are able to simultaneously produce clean water for domestic use as well as prevent pollution and save Mother Nature. Almost 100% of our product is made of natural resources and recycled materials, which are not only easily at one's disposal, but also cost effective. Hence, total cost required to produce our product only came up to about RM150. The main target of this project is school canteens, especially non-government aided and semi-government schools. This is to ensure water can be recycled and cause lesser wastage which leads to lower cost of water bill. Moreover, the total cost of items used to fuel this project is cost-friendly. This product should be commercialized in larger scales to recycle green water, which is reusable wastewater from residential, commercial and industrial bathroom sinks, bathtub shower drains and clothes washing equipment drains. Not to mention, if we don't start actively treating our wastewater, there won't be any fresh water sources as they will be obsolete or heavily polluted. Besides that, treated wastewater can improve the quality of bodies of water and solve into which it is released and benefit the environment. This enables humans to receive clean water supply for daily use. Hence, this product should be commercialized for the benefit of all.